Hey gardeners, today we're doing zucchini surgery and I hope I'm not gonna ruin your breakfast today. All right, let's look at this. This is my zucchini plant. Do you see that worm coming out there? See that little guy right there? Gross. All right, let's talk about what this is. Gonna explain him away. All right, so that is a zucchini squash vine borer. They are just showing up right now. It's mid-July, I've been waiting for them. I've been checking my zucchini plants every day. And here's what's gonna happen if you don't address this. It's so sad. You're gonna come out to your garden in the next couple of days, and some of your zucchini plants are gonna look a little sad, like they need water. And it's been really hot, so you're gonna go, oh, they probably need water. And you'll water them, and the next day you'll come out and they'll look even sadder. And you'll come out on day three or four and the whole plant's gonna be completely dead. And the first many years that I was a gardener, I just figured I had done something wrong. I didn't know what had happened. And then I did some reading and discovered that this is common in this area. It is a uh, flying insect that will land on your zucchini plants. Zucchini is very susceptible. Many other varieties of pumpkin and butternut squash are not as susceptible. They love summer squash and zucchinis the most. And they normally will take out an entire crop of zucchini this time of year. So it lands and lays eggs. When they hatch, the uh, worms crawl down the stem. They find a weak spot in your zucchini stem and they crawl inside the zucchini, the, the stem of it, and they start literally eating the zucchini from the inside out, ruining the entire vascular system of the plant. And then your zucchini is done for. By the time you see wilted leaves, it's too late. So that's why I want you to go out and look at your zucchini now. And here's what you're gonna look for. You're gonna look for, this is a telltale sign. You'll see a split in your zucchini and you'll see what looks like wet sand. Oh, look, there's another one right there. Can you see that? Little white worm with a black head. Can you see that? And he is gonna get much bigger. He'll get about an inch long and really fat. And, oh, here's another one. There's another one in there, great. <laughs> So um, any place on your zucchini stem, what I want you to do is find the stem of the zucchini closest to the ground, pinch it with your hand, see if there's any soft spots. Look for what looks like wet sand or just wet ick kind of around the, the base of the zucchini, even on the ground around it. So here's how we're gonna prevent this or deal with it. Uh, this is definitely intermediate, intermediate gardening right here. So if you're a brand new beginner gardener and this grosses you out or scares you, Maybe if your plants are attacked, you just call it a day this year. I did that for many years. But if you're um, determined to give this a try, let's go for it. So I'm gonna come back here with a knife or clippers and I'm gonna clip off all the lower stems on my zucchini. So look where you find your first zucchini growing. My first zucchini is all the way up here. I don't know if you can see this. He's all the way down here. Every stem on this zucchini up to here is not doing anything. It's not, there's not going to be any new zucchini on this older part of the stem. So you can come back and start clipping these off and you wanna clip really close to the stem. And the reason you wanna do that is zucchini branches are hollow. Let me show you. If you clip right here, it's hollow. Well, that's just a real opportunity for your worm to crawl in there. So you wanna clip as close as you can to the zucchini so that you see solid right there, right? And just keep doing this, checking all the ways you go to see if there's any of that damage I talked to you about. And once you, go oh, here, I see another one here. There's another guy down here. This one's really infested. I caught this right in time. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do after I'm done, you have a couple of choices here. Some gardeners have success wrapping this whole stem with tin foil. Something about that prevents the worm from climbing down there and crawling into the open holes on your zucchini stem. Um, you can also bury it. So uh, you can bury the entire zucchini stem, lay it down on the ground, keep some soil over it. And then I like to use this cedar mulch because it smell, has a really strong smell and is naturally bug repellent. And I'll pile this on top of the zucchini stem and that will help. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll come back and spray it with diatomaceous earth, which is a completely organic substance and will kill the worms. So I'm gonna post a video next about what diatomaceous earth is and how to use it. Simple, don't be scared by it. Um, but I encourage you, 
at least go look for the telltale signs on your zucchini right now and then you can decide as a gardener whether you're ready to do zucchini surgery please let me know if you have questions all right i wish this was a happier gardening video but i wish you happy gardening anyway thanks